In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. As we rejoice in the fulfilment of God's promise of mercy, made to our ancestors through the obedience and love of Mary, so let us acknowledge our failures and make the word flesh in our own lives. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendour of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the Father, in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. We beseech you, O Lord, pour your grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion may we be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the prophecy of Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask a sign of the Lord your God. Let it be deep as show or high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, and I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary mortals that you weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child and shall bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. This is the word of the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. It is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Consequently, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifices and offerings you have not desired, but a body you have prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sin offerings you take no pleasure. Then I said, See God, I have come to do your will, O God. In the scroll of the book it is written of me. When he said, You have neither desired nor taken pleasure in sacrifices and offerings and burnt offerings and sin offerings, these are offered according to the law. Then he added, See, I have come to do your will. He abolishes the first in order to establish the second. And it's by God's will that we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. This is the word of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. O oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your heart. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, 
for you have found favour with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative, Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us give glory to God on high, from whose fullness we have received grace upon grace. We pray for the Church of God throughout the world. Lord, inspire your people to serve you in obedience, humility and love, that renewed in faith and in holiness we may witness to the Word made flesh. Enlighten and sanctify the Church through the ministry of its pastors. We pray for the church at this time throughout the world and for all who live under the patronage of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for goodwill in the hearts of all, that peace and righteousness may abound and that all may live in freedom and in security and that human dignity may be everywhere promoted and protected. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for your blessing upon all homes and families, that children may be protected from all harm and abuse, that husbands and wives may honour and cherish each other, and family life be strengthened in all that is good. We pray for homes where there is unhappiness and cruelty, and where children are neglected and unloved. Grant, Lord, wise-hearted love and compassion in the face of all human misery. We 
We ask your blessing particularly on those who are suffering at this time from the coronavirus. We pray for all doctors and nurses that you will give them comfort and strength. We pray for those searching for a vaccine and a cure that you will give them wisdom. And we ask you to guide the leaders of the nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend to your care and keeping all who have died, especially Ken and Pauline. May all the departed come to the fullness of life, which you have promised us through Mary's Son. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have shed upon us the new light of your incarnate word, giving us gladness in our sorrow and a presence in our loneliness. Fill the world with your light, that all your creatures may live to the praise of your glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made, and to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Heavenly Father, as your Son came into the world, taking our human nature, grant that in this sacrament he may make known among us his divine glory, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. We give you thanks and praise that the Virgin Mary heard with faith the message of the angel, and by the power of your Holy Spirit, conceived and bore the Word made flesh. From the warmth of her womb to the stillness of the grave, he shared our life in human form. In him new light has dawned upon the world, and you have become one with us in, our, in your glorious kingdom. Therefore earth unites with heaven to sing a new song of praise. We too join with the angels and archangels as they proclaim your glory without end. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me.
In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice, made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms, and bring us with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St Edmund, the Apostles and all the saints, to feast at your table in heaven, through Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Let us pray. 
God, most high, whose hand made for the word made flesh. We thank you that in this sacrament of our redemption you visit us with your Holy Spirit and overshadow us by your power. Strengthen us to walk with Mary the joyful path of obedience and so bring forth the fruits of holiness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ, the Son of God, born of Mary, fill us with his grace to trust his promise and obey his will. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.